Two officers who helped defend the Capitol building on January 6, 2021, made stops around Wisconsin on Friday to highlight their experiences that day. Our own Jake Force met with them in Wausau and has more Jake. Jessica, there's obviously a lot of politics tied up in anything surrounding the January 6th Capitol riot, but these officers want to offer insight into what they experienced that day. Much of the conversation around that day has targeted the Capitol Police and the videos that appear to show them walking next to rioters without really doing anything. But both officers said that footage does not tell the entire story. On January 5th, people probably didn't even know the Capitol Police existed. Um, but January 6th, the whole world's looking at you. While they were attacking the police, they said that Donald Trump sent us here. Former United States Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn says he experienced hundreds of intense protests during his 15-year tenure on the job. But January 6th, 2021 was unlike anything he had ever seen. Now he's looking to dispel what he calls a narrative that the insurrection wasn't as serious as many made it out to be because Capitol Police allowed protesters to walk throughout the Capitol building that day. Dunn says there's a very good reason and why officers couldn't immediately make arrests. Our former chief wrote a book, and I think in the, uh, he, he quoted it as, we were outnumbered to 58 to one for every officer to 58 rioters there. Daniel Hodges was also at the Capitol that day as a member of the Metropolitan Police Department of Washington, D.C. He too says the crowd was simply too big and too aggressive to make mass arrests. You know, they just overwhelmed us with their numbers. I remember getting pushed back against a uh, waist high wall and being held down while one of the uh, insurrectionists tried to gouge out my eye with his thumb. Hodges said he understands why law enforcement was criticized for not being more aggressive against the rioters, but added that the options were severely limited for all law enforcement. So trying to elicit voluntary compliance with orders is was, you know, it, it obviously looks weak in the context, but it's it's really the only viable option that those officers had at the time. Um, I guarantee you they would have loved to make arrests. I would have loved to make arrests, but it just wasn't an option. Dunn also decried the notion that January 6th was a peaceful protest carried out by true patriots. He added that the idea is what inspires him to continue telling his truth about that day. As long as that rhetoric and narrative is being out there, then I'll be out here pushing back against it to say, hey, that's not what happened. And the people that attacked us are not patriots. In fact, they, a lot of them are convicted criminals.